Today, we're going to discuss to you about the science, technology, and nation building. Contents. The contents of our report includes pre-colonial, colonial era, colonial period which also is subdivided into three, the Spanish era, American era, and World War II. Next is post-colonial, government policies, and the NRCP. By the end of the discussion, we must be able to discuss the means of application of science and technology in the daily lives of Filipinos during pre-colonial, colonial, and post-colonial period. Recon government policies that regulate science and technological contrib contributions and evaluate the role of science and technology in building nation. The shaping of our nation today would not be possible without the influences of science and technological developments and, in and inventions. Through these developments and innovations, the enhancements and advancements in many different aspects will be applied. Autonomy, health, business, and overall living of the people, and etc. During the pre-colonial period, our ancestors had already started developments on science and technology during this time. Planting crops, taking care of animals, were their means to provide food for themselves and their means to um, survive their daily living. They used also used, pla used plants as medicinal, the medicinal herbs. Vitalization of the movements of heavenly bodies were their means to predict seasons and timing. Their engineering and uh, technology were building houses, tools development, and irrigation. They also developed musical instruments. Colonial period is divided into three eras, which is the Spanish era, American era, and the World War II. In the Spanish era, people brought their own culture. They developed the means of constructions, walls such as walls, roads, bridges, and large infrastructures. They established schools and introduced the concepts of subjects and disciplines. Technology focuses on using and developing house tools. Medicine and advanced science were introduced in formal colleges and universities. The galleon trade was supplied by merchants largely from port areas of Fujian who traveled to Manila to sell the Spaniards spices, porcelain, ivory, processed silk, cloth, and other valuable commodities. The galleon trade was a government monopoly. Only two galleons were used. One sailed from Acapulco to Manila with some 500,000 pesos worth of goods, spending 120 days at sea. The other sailed from Manila to Acapulco with some 250,000 pesos worth of goods, spending 90 days at sea. The galleon trade was also considered a marine global trade since, since it was held at sea. Scientific activities were also halted because of religion. During the American era, they established public education system. They also improved engineering and health colonies. Probations, probation and abuse of minerals was done. They also altered science learning in the fields of health and sanitation and infrastructure. During the World War II, it was the gloomiest days for the Philippines. They had limited dimensions and rebuilding the country because of the um, and, um, destruction that was brought by the World War II. However, when post-colonial era started, the limit of resources were the means of the Filipinos to improve science and technological projects. They had overseas development allocation and started human resource development during this era. Because of the science and technological advancements, the government launched prog programs, projects, and policies that will regulate the activities of these science-oriented projects to ensure the safety of everyone. OST or DOST NRCP studied how can the country, which is the Philippines, meet the underlying expected goals of the ASEAN in the year 2015. NRCP has four clusters of classification of the NRCP policies. First is the social sciences, 
humanities, education, internal policies, and governance. Next, physics, engineering, industrial research, earth and space sciences, and mathematics. The third one is the medical, chemical, and pharmaceutical sciences. And the last is biological sciences, agriculture, and forestry. Through the help of science and technological advancement, advancements, the lives of the people were made easier and more convenient, especially in the field of medicine, in which vaccines and med medicinal drugs were developed and enhanced through time. Hence, the development in science and technology assists the progress of one nation in becoming more advanced and flexible in facing global and local economic situations. That would be all. Thank you.